What's up, I'm Drew Paul Bell, and today, uh, this video, what I wanna talk with you about is looking back. Okay, so um, this is part of the Archie Talks uh, blog post series, where I have several architecture bloggers write blog posts about uh, a common topic, and then we all release it at the same time. And so today's, uh, this, this month's topic is called uh, looking back. What I wanna look back on is the, uh, a little bit, it has to do a little bit with like the worth of architecture, right? Was it worth it? A lot of students ask me this, and I definitely worried it, worried about it all the time as I was going through college, um, right? Were these all-nighters worth it? I felt like I was sacrificing a lot of my social life, a lot of my youth, being um, being young, being in college, being at a university where like I didn't have time to go party and have fun, and my fun was I had to like try to find uh, joy and fun at two in the morning in studio working on work. And there, there was definitely fun within that. And it wasn't, it wasn't the kind of like partying kind of fun that I wanted at the time. But I will say this, I've gotten out since then. And I've, I graduated about three years ago, three years and a few months. And I've been living in Atlanta ever since. Uh, and I've been able, I, since I've gotten out, I've had a lot more free time to kind of do with it as I want. In school, I felt like I lived on campus and I felt like I never got away from school. Like there was no end of the day. Teachers could go home at five or six o'clock, right? But students didn't. Uh, we, we lived on campus, we basically lived in studio and there was no real separation from that. But what happens in the office is like, even, even though there will be times where like we're going through long hours and maybe I'm not leaving the office until like eight or nine o'clock at night, uh, when I leave the office, I've left the office. And when I'm home, I'm at home. I can go grab a beer with friends. I can go do what I need to do. I can, I have free time. In college, I felt like I never had free time, ever. And maybe that was just me. I know people who probably did a better job at separating from studio, but I was not one of those people. And I'll say this too, there's a lot of friends who I hang out with now who they don't feel like what they're going through now. They, f they feel like life outside of college sucks. They felt like, oh, college was like the glory days and it was so awesome and now like they really miss college and all this and I'm like, dude, I don't miss college at all. Not at all. I mean, there were like, there were times about it that were good and there were, I definitely had fun times while I was there, but I, there's no part of me that's like, oh man, take me back. Just, it, there's just not. Like my life is so much better now that I'm out. And, uh, but so my friends who went to like party schools and majored in computer science or business or whatever and had a lot of fun in college, now they hate life outside. Right, I'm outside now, and I'm so happy to be here, and I do not miss college at all. And it seems like there's kind of this dichotomy. It seems like a lot of people that I know flip-flop. They either, they either loved college and hated life after college, or they hated college and now they love life afterwards. And during my five years in it, it wasn't that clear of a bet. I wasn't so, it wasn't so clear that that was definitely going to happen. But, and maybe it doesn't happen for everybody, but it did happen for me. And I feel like I'm out here now and I'm actually loving life now. And so to me, it was worth it. It was worth the hard work. And, and I'm, I'm glad that I put in the time back in college. And it also makes me appreciate even more the fact that I can just like chill out on a Sunday night and not maybe grab a drink with some friends or maybe just chill at my place and not stress about anything and not be worried about like all the homework that's due for the next week. Cause it, that's just torture. And, but it was through putting in that work that got me to the firm that I'm at now where we're actually doing exciting work and that's why I enjoy that so much. Also, there's another part that I wanted to say. What was it? Okay, I remember now. What I wanted to say was, I talked enough in this video about social life, right? Because that was one thing that really, really concerned me uh, when I was in college. Since I've gotten, I've always known that I would be able to find rewarding work that that I would feel fulfilled by, whether that meant slogging it out in some boring firm for a while and starting my own firm one day, or that if it meant landing at a quality firm where we actually did good work. Um, deep down inside, I never had like that fear that I wouldn't feel rewarded by my work. Um, but I think that a lot of people do. And it was a worry of mine that I was, I was, I would, I would hate to do work that wasn't rewarding, but the work that I do get to do now is actually very rewarding. It's the, I, the, the idea that what I'm doing is real, right? Or it's, go, it's going to be real. That it has an actual impact that I'm gonna be able to go see. And it's gonna impact somebody's life. That means a lot to me. 
I have a lot of friends who do jobs where they're not sure what they're doing, like they they just crunch in numbers, or they're analysts, or they're business consultants, and they're just it's not like tangible. You can't just touch what it is that that, that, that they're doing. And to me, the the idea that I'm helping say how the world is going to be, that means a lot to me. And I would rather have a job where I'm doing something like that than have a job where I'm just doing some sort of analysis or study of something. And the, the thing is that the, the potential of getting a job that you are not fulfilled by is a very real possibility. A lot of people in the world do jobs that they hate, that are unexciting, and they're all just living for the weekend. And like, there's times where I'm tired and I need the weekend to come, on, to come along, but I more or less like what I do. And there's days when I'm doing things that are boring, but any job has things that are boring. I feel like out of between the pros and the cons, architecture has better pros than any other job I can think of. And I think that our cons are really not that bad when you consider, when you consider all that there is to consider. So I hope that this helps. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to check out all the other blog posts on this topic. I think it's awesome to get to see the different perspectives that architects have. I think it shows a lot of the diversity that we have in the profession. And I hope this helps. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I will talk to you next time.